Welcome to the story of liberty. The people of the Green Gate, they loved to sing. They had come from a land that was at the forefront in music, England. But now in light in Holland, they look forward to their gatherings and they crowd into a friendly house to sing songs. It was pleasure for the people to sit in the quiet of their church meeting place and listen to the reading of Bible passages and then to hear their interpretation from their pastor, John Robinson. Pastor John was the pilgrim pastor. He said something very profound. He said, the Lord has more truth and light yet to break forth from his holy word. John Robinson's writings included a substantial number of books and letters. And his major works were published in three volumes in London in 1851. He repudiated the magic of prayer and abject dependence upon the divine. He said, for us to ask anything at the hands of the Lord, which we do not offer ourselves ready instruments to effect and bring to pass is to tempt God's power and to abuse his goodness. He was shocked that people should neglect the help of physicians when they were ill and count on God to cure their pain and carry them through. He was one of the first to sense that variety and unity are possible in the Christian faith. He was one of the pioneers in the movement toward that unity. And he said, men are for the most part minded for or against toleration of diversity of religion, according to the conformity which they themselves hold, or hold not with the country where they live. In other words, Protestants living in countries of Catholics commonly pleaded for toleration of religion. So do Catholics that lived where the Protestants sway, though few of either, especially the clergy as they are called, would have tolerated the other. Pastor Robinson said, the very same is to be observed in the ancient fathers when pleading against violence, for true religion, affirming that it was a human right, true or false religion, but natural liberty for every man to worship what he thinks of God. He was forced to live in what Roger Williams called wonderful, searching, disputing, and dissenting times. Pastor John Robinson was paid in adversity for his efforts as a reformer. He was a hunted exile who had known loneliness and privation. His 49 years of life brought persecution and suffering because he was intimately associated in the cause of reformation. The passing of almost 400 years has brought new appreciation Pastor John Robinson's role in the struggle for religious freedom. A bronze tablet was placed on the wall of the St. Peter's Church in Leiden, Holland, and it bears this inscription. In memory of Reverend John Robinson, pastor of the English Church, went forth the Pilgrim Fathers to settle New England, 1620, says further of him these walks enshrine all that was mortal his undying spirit still dominated the consciences of a mighty nation in the land beyond the seas folks it was the congregation the people that john robinson ministered to that founded the greatest freest most prosperous nation the most mightiest nation in the history of mankind, the United States of America.